Hello YouTube, Mr. Evans here with my vlog number 121. Today is Wednesday and the time is 8.49. <laughs> Just saying that hurts. Um, but you know, given the amount of catching up I had to do today, um, I, I don't think anybody should really be surprised. I mean, it's, I had a lot of catch up to do. Um, last vlog I did, I did not use the ring light, um, because it was still pretty bright out. Now, obviously, it's very dark, um, so I have the ring light back on, which caused a couple of issues last time. First of all, um, I ended up scooting in close enough that it kind of cut off the top of my head, and second of all, um, you could actually see the ring light in the shot. So I switched my tripod this time, I'm going to back up a little bit, and we will see if this is any better. YouTube, um... Let's talk about today. Um, first of all, like I said, a lot of catching up to do, which is why I'm here so late. I, not only was I kind of grading a backlog of work, but even my backlog was, um, needed some catching up because there's like, usually I, I grade the paper versions of the work um, and then I can go in and do the digital versions later, but this time around I hadn't even graded the paper versions, um, at least of work for uh, yesterday. So today I was just like, okay, I am just gonna get, get fully caught up, and now I'm fully caught up. Um, today was overall a pretty good day. I am pretty happy with it. Um, again, the things with which I am unhappy are myriad, um, so I don't really feel comfortable discussing them just because, um, you know, there's all sorts of things that hit hard as a teacher. Um, fix this little <laughs> setup there. And today, uh, what it amounted to was, uh, there's, there's always that question of value, right? Like, do I have intrinsic value? Do I belong here? And um, there's nobody that's willing to provide that kind of feedback, honestly. Um, everybody wants you to, to know how much better you can do your job. Um, but nobody wants to say, yeah, you can't. You're already doing everything you can, and it's not working, and it's just because you're not cut out for it. And I'd like to believe that that is because... Um, that is the case with everybody, right? Everybody could do this. If you're in this profession, it's because there was a calling. Something told you, you should be a teacher. And I've always professed that that's not the case for me, right? This is just something that I'm doing for now because it makes sense. But that's not strictly true, right? Because even as a job that makes sense, it's taken a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, and yet I continue to do it. I want to do it. Um, I was really happy the other day when that student asked me, do you regret being a teacher? Because it's a question I don't ask myself very often. And today I was able to kind of say, or on the day the student asked that, I was able to like really kind of dig inside and, and say, no, no, I, I, I think that, I, you know, I, I regret some of the choices. We already talked about this on a previous vlog, but what it came down to was I regret some of the choices I've made. I regret some of the way things are going, but I'm happy to be doing this job. Um, and so I think that that is the underlying mentality. I think I do belong here. I think I probably have things I need to fix, but I need to come to them organically. They have to make sense to me. Um, we all have areas we can improve, right? So e there, there's not really, it's not really a case of whether I belong or not. It's just a case of, um, can I, can I work on things, right? Um, and I can say that to myself most days. And today, um, there's this uh, little part of me that came out during the hard parts. This little part of me that said, that's not true. You don't belong here. You're not cut out for this. And maybe you never will be. But the voice was quiet. Um, in fact, I'm not even 100% sure why I'm talking about it. Maybe just because it's so poetic. <laughs> but I think the point I'm trying to make here is the struggle we deal with as a teacher. It, it, there's just many struggles. But the struggle within ourselves, that's the one that hurts the most. That's the one that's the hardest. 
Which I think brings me to the wonder quote of the day, which is by Mark Twain, who I love. I love Mark Twain. And he said, always do right. This will gratify some people and astonish the rest. Um, he's great. Um, actually, that's not even my favorite quote by him. Just most of his quotes are, you know, nail on the head. Um, if only it were easier to know what the right thing is, you know? If only it were easier to know which end goal to serve, or which actions will ultimately be in service of that end goal. It's tough. For me. For a lot of people, I think. Um, what is right? I think all of us are still really trying to answer that question. All of us are. I think that um, as a teacher, I, and I think a lot of teachers, feel more pressure to find that answer more quickly. Because we know that if we make the wrong call, we affect so many lives in the process. Um, so there is a lot of pressure. And we make mistakes. We, I think all of us are always trying to do what we think is best, but there's just never a definitive answer to that question. And so... We're humans, we make mistakes, but we try, all of us do. And I hope that everyone out there realizes that. I think um, one of the administrators who was talking to me really put it the best way where what she said was, when you build up a relationship with a student, there's some give. You make a mistake, it's okay. But when you have no relationship with a student, there's, there's, there's no give. If I say something like, um, you know, turn to page um, 278. Oh, whoops, I meant 378, right? Uh, and I don't have a relationship with students in my class, you can expect that they're gonna start shouting out, hi, you got the page wrong, or that kind of thing. But students with whom I have a relationship, with whom any of us have a relationship, you know, we can expect that there's that level of understanding. And so the question really is, how do we build that relationship so that we have more flexibility to um, find what the right thing is? And it's a struggle. It's a lifelong struggle, which is a hard thing for me to admit, unfortunately. <laughs> I would really love it if I could just come right out and say, like, but I'm gonna get there. But you know, you, you never know where the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is, do you? I guess that's just a truth of life. I'm starting to wax poetic and philosophical, which is a sign that I'm about to ramble off on a long tangent. So I think I'll go ahead and end there and jump into the things that made me smile today. And I don't actually have anything prepared. <laughs> so you get to sit with me as I um, think of them. Because there were a lot of positives today. Um, for example, um, I got some support from one of the counselors um, on a, a student who just, I had had th this student, that there was an issue previously, um, and I was kind of worried it was going to end up unresolved. I didn't really feel like I had closure, but the counselor really without me even asking, kind of stepped in and um, supported me and supported the situation and really supported the student in a way that uh, felt like there is some closure now. Um, and it's, it's good. So that's one big thing. Thanks, major thanks to that counselor for their support. I'm also uh, very grateful for um, the meeting that we had today to discuss, uh, well, there were many things we discussed, but part of it was uh, that we discussed uh, the future 
of what's going to happen here with um, coronavirus. Uh, I, I mentioned this briefly on yesterday's vlog, and I stand by the statement that it's not as big of a thing as people are making out of it. But that's sort of a moot point at this point. It's, um, it's political more than anything else, I think, you know, where there's these moves that, like, I think there's a lot of political pressure to, uh, to react uh, as though it has reached a certain level of severity. Um, and so today we sort of talked about what might future steps look like. And even though I'm not happy <laughs> about all the steps that might be taken, I am happy that I'm not going to be blindsided by it, um, that none of us are going to be blindsided by it. It gives us time to prepare and, and, and get ready. But it's not something I want to talk about too much right now, um, just because, you know, it's, it's all very uncertain. Much like our understanding of the virus is uncertain. You know, we just, we don't fully understand it, and so we, we're, we're playing things by ear. It's a rapidly changing situation, and it's not one that many of us have dealt with before. Uh, and the last thing that really made me smile today was getting all of my work done. Woo! Getting all of that stuff graded. Oh, man, even though I had to stay so late to do it, it is such a relief um, to just have it all out of the way, you know? Um, so that feels really good uh, to be able to, to do. I get to come in tomorrow with a with a blank slate and not feel like I'm pulling things in uh, previously from what we uh, would work done. So, um, yeah, a lot of, lot of things to be happy about today. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, wait, no, there was one more moment that made me smile. Uh, those little metal puzzles I have, one of the students was trying to solve it and ended up getting it um, stuck. <laughs> Could not separate it. And um, <laughs> so one of my other students was like, he, I gave it to him, and he was like trying to pull it apart. It's just like I can get this apart. I can do it. Um, but the bell rang, and it was like, "It's okay, buddy. I'll, I'll take care of it." And he's like, "Just one more time. Let me let me try one more time." And he, he starts pulling on it, and it unstuck. He got it unstuck. Um, and there was just this really sweet moment where I was like, "Thank you. Good job." And he was like, "I got muscles." It was just like. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of what I was talking about previously, that student relationship, you know. It's like, yeah, okay, this is a student that I got a rapport with, which is nice. That will be the last thing that made me, well, many other things made me smile, but that's the last thing I'll talk about this vlog. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, YouTube.